Well, this is my latest project. <clears throat> I kind of uh, tried my best to uh, refurbish an old uh, receiver. It's a ham band, ham radio band receiver. It covers 80 meters through 10 meters uh, without the warp bands. This is a Halicrafters model SX-111. It was built in about, I think, 1961. So that makes it uh, older than I am. <laughs> uh, so it's, it's pretty old. It's been in storage for about eight years. I brought it home. It was given to me by a good friend of mine, a ham radio buddy of mine that I know that didn't want it anymore. And I kind of like doing this stuff. I've got it turned on in standby. I'll just show you a little bit, just a little quick tour here. I had to clean it up. I just got done realigning it. So, uh, not bad for an old radio. That's the chassis. It cleaned up pretty nice. Still a little bit dirty, but I usually don't really go into the trouble of really cleaning up really great and shiny but I get all the dust and everything off as best I can wipe the, the little windows and the, the light bulbs and everything and uh, you can see the some of the vacuum tubes there and uh, tuning capacitors for the for the frequency bands and I'll try to let you see the back side of it if I can. It'll focus. Lots of old stuff in there. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, I still got a little bit more cleaning to do on the top of the uh, IF cans. Uh, <clears throat> but it's almost done. Best I can do. And uh, all the tuning gears and everything down there are in good shape. Grease is a little bit old, but they still move nice and smooth. Everything worked. When I first fired it up, it tripped a 20 amp breaker. That turned out to be a bad uh, capacitor in the power line. And then I had to replace the... Uh, the audio gain here, the volume, it was real bad scratchy and I put a new pot in that and uh, that's about it other than clean it up and realign it. One mistake I didn't make is you notice on the face here, I didn't know it but I made the mistake of using Windex to get down in there to clean the dust off the back side of the display, the dial, the dial display there. Well apparently that uh, rubs all that off and as you can see all the numbers are just everywhere. Even the uh, even the lines for the scales just got all messed up. But there's enough left there that I can still tell where I'm at. You've got your band markers there. 10, 15, 20, 40, and 80 meters. And then you got them over here on this side too. And a little S, uh, S meter there. And... Uh, you know, the face and everything cleaned up pretty nice to be so old. So, uh, anyway, I just have to remember not to uh, use any cleaner on the inside of those dials anymore. <laughs> I said, let me get ready here and we'll turn it on and see what it'll do here. Okay, let's see here. I'll give you a quick tour here. Of course, yeah, I already showed you the S meter and the tuning dial here. I'm going to start at the top here, turn the volume down. Or, uh, this little control here is a tuning capacitor that uh, uh, kind of like tunes up your antenna for receiving. It's your main tuning dial right here for your frequency. This is a calibrate knob to zero beat to calibrate the frequency that the radio is on with the, the dial indicator and then uh, of course uh, uh, noise blanker switch 
function switch, power on, standby, upper lower side band, and the calibrate position. You just turn it to where you need to go. Audio gain, that's your volume. Notch frequency, that's just like a, a notch on today's later model radios, only it's variable on these older ones. Selectivity, this is your band width. Um, it goes from, uh, if I can get it to focus, it goes from uh, 0.5 kilocycles up to uh, 5 kilocycles. So you can widen or narrow your, your pass band. And uh, then the, uh, the BFO switch here. You flip it up to copy uh, Morse code and uh, sideband, you flip it down to, to receive AM. Uh, AVC control here, that's, uh, I believe that's uh, automatic voltage control, which in today's radio is the uh, uh, AGC, automatic gain control. Uh, you turn it off, it's just like putting your AGC on fast on a late model radio. Flip it on, it's like being on medium or slow. And then your band selector for your bands, uh, 80, 40, 20, 15, 10, and then around there is uh, WWV. And then uh, your RF gain for your front end and receiver gain. So let's see how it does. I'm on 40 meters at the moment. Let's see what we can find out. Okay, 
I'm kind of curious. What's your comment? Now, I am talking on the stock hand mic. Um, I'll be using a high ICM probably over tomorrow or next day. But um, it kind of messed around. Uh, this is all on the stock hand mic. Kind of, kind of give me your, your impersonation of this. Over. Yeah, and, uh, you're running uh, almost 10 over 9 on that transmission. Yeah, the audio sounds very good. It's, uh, it's clean and clear. Uh, go ahead, Jerry. So anyway, there you go, a little demonstration of the Helicrafters SX-111.